Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be doing a what if scenario and that is what if F1 split into two. Now before I um, explain this theory I would just like to say a bit of context. In, the in 1996 the cart split into two where uh, there would be another cart and the Indy Racing League. Now this um, split happened because um, the owner of Indy of the Indy 500, uh, Tony George, decided no. This this whole you know the big teams at the top, the small teams. This is ridiculous. We we need to make it um, you know closer. We need to make make the racing and the teams more equal. And so he split. Uh, he, he he created the Indy Racing League in 1996 and really. Um, split cart in two. Now, what if that happened to Formula One today? Now, Liberty Media have gone on to say that they are trying to make the racing more closer and make the teams closer in comparison. Now, um, this would mean that they would uh, simplify the engines and that's exactly what they're doing for the 2021 regulations. They're trying to make everything more simpler and make the racing closer. So they're kind of going in the way of um, the Indy Racing League, really. Uh, now, of course, the big manufacturers and Mercedes Ferrari would not like this. And so they would decide to... Um, kind of for create a new organization which would be you know revolving around creating new tech for the um for road carts which is exactly what cart was trying to do really it was kind of, it, was tr it was trying to create new technology uh this would be called um let's just call it um Formula 1.5, let's just, let's just call it like that, um, or Formula Manufacturers, or, let, let, yeah, let's call it Formula Manufacturers, um, and then the original Formula 1 as Formula 1. Limited Media would then uh, start to impose um, more rules to make the... Um, to make the racing even more closer, and would eventually possibly uh, go into a spec series which would be very controversial indeed um, and would basically make um, the chassis made by Delara and would basically um, create the um, Formula One as kind of like a European IndyCar really um, w without the ovals um, whilst Formula Manufacturer would become the, uh, would eventually merge into Formula E because, well, Formula E is really the place where, m m like, many manufacturers are going. And really this would mean that, um, Formula E would become, um, really the former shell of Formula 1 and what it used to stand for and Liberty Media's um, Formula 1 would stand for the new Formula 1 you know the like what the fans want what um, you know they would impose V10 hybrids well not V10 hybrids because then people would yeah they would get rid of hybrids they would basically make everything for the fans and make everything really equal um, so basically, the V10 fanboys' wet dream. You know, they would they would take away all assists and all electronics, and they would make it as as I said before, a European indie car. Uh, Formula E uh, would eventually um, evolve into a kind of as. They would eventually possibly merge into the World Endurance Championship um, because the World Endurance Championship is also another motorsport which um, produces new technology and 
So with, with the current change of look to the Formula E cars, I, I, I could expect this to happen, maybe, possibly. Uh, it's highly unlikely, but it could happen, maybe, I don't know. Um, but g given how, uh, compared to the, um, compared to the Formula E cars before the, before the new cars, um, you know, which looked a lot like Formula 1 cars, just different, um, and given how Formula E is, like, changing their look towards something brand new, I would expect them to eventually go into closed cockpit, uh, cars, uh, fully electric, and would eventually merge into kind of uh, into the LMP1 class or whatever the top class of um, the World Endurance Championship is, and would eventually become uh, the Formula Manufacturers be would become the main fastest class of the World Endurance Championship. Now this is highly unlikely because of course this would never happen. You know, Formula One is Formula One, but then again, you can never, ever count out these kind of things. And given how divided the F1 community is and what it should be, should it be the testing ground for new technology or should it be for the fans and um, you know, see who's the best driver or who see who's the best team, uh, who can produce the best setups, really all that. Um, and, and, yeah, like, over these past couple of years, it's gone more and more divided. And who knows if this could actually happen. But this is just a what-if scenario. And, of course, this this is, um, you know, we can't be guaranteed on what could happen. But this is just my opinion on what could have happened if Formula 1 split into two and would, um, and would create two brand new, or, well, one brand new uh, motorsports which eventually would merge into Formula E and then Formula E would eventually merge into the top t uh, top class of the World Endurance Championship so that's just my theory and um, yeah so uh, post down uh, your opinion uh, what you would think if Formula 1 would split um, how it would go and um, yeah that's really it for this video, I have stated my theory, so um, I'd just like to ask uh, what do you think, what do you think would happen, and uh, yeah, I will see you all guys in the next video, goodbye.